And A.J. Przinsky leads off. Chase Anderson back to work. Mark Adonacio is our guest. And normally we have Mark up here. We talk about all things Brewers and strategy and trades and what's going on on the business side. But tonight's a little bit different. As Przinsky flies out, we're taking the owner back down memory lane. And it's big league inspiration theme night on Fox Sports Wisconsin. So we've established uh, Mickey Mantle as your favorite player. And it's one thing to be able to root for these guys, but it's another thing to now own a team and you get to meet some <laughs> of your some of your heroes and it's some great. of these guys that are out here are uh, looked up to by so many kids. But this is the one picture I think of all pictures people would want to be a part of. You got to be a part <laughs> of this one. <laughs> Robin Yount, Hank Aaron, and Bob Euchre here in the middle of it. Do you That's, remember that picture a, was taken? Yeah, we had a uh, an evening for as uh, Bob Colm Henry up in the uh, stadium club here. And uh, uh, for his uh, Hank's Chasing the Dream Foundation, and uh, got a photo op. Nice. That's an all timer. Oh yeah, that's an all timer. And oh. and you know my my nuance on this. And there there they are. Yount know, Euchre. Got. I think we got. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good director you too. You got your truck. You know yeah. the, the truck is on top of yeah. it, right? <laughs> this is a very well produced show. Very nice. Um, but in that challenging Yankees game, which while we were at the break, I looked up, was only made in 1964 and 1965 wow. by Hasbro. Okay. Uh, so um, two-year run. Two-year run on it. Uh, Henry Aaron was like the best player on the other team. Right. And so that's how I knew who he was, and I liked him because he was the best. If I didn't, the, the rare occasion I let my brother Paul get the Yankees to play with and I had to play with the other team. He was he was my guy. <laughs> uh, baseball is such a big part of your yeah. lives and, and I'm, because we've talked about this before we don't want to make this all about you because your wife was a huge baseball fan and player as a as a young girl. Debbie, she told us last year she know, loved the true. game. All true. Debbie uh, is one of four sisters and I, I don't know I guess this happens in a lot of families where there's all girls the dad picks one who's going to go to the games and do what and whatnot and uh, Debbie was that child in that family so she went to all these Yankee games and had all these tickets I didn't think she knew anything about it and uh, it's a good play by Jeanette here to his feet and the throw is late Darno, the pinch hitter legs it out for an infield single go ahead Mark so one of, one of our very first dates um, I put her to the test it was a little a little like in the movie diner and I started questioning. So, yeah, well, you know, you like the answer. Name a few of the people. So, you know, I, she names Tom Tresh. She names, and, and I'm not talking about the Yankees with this <laughs> Yankees with Mantle and Maris. I right. said, after that, what about those? She named, if I recollect, Tom Tresh, Roy White. Well, when she knew Horace Clark, right, right. I was, that was it. <laughs> that's when the Yankees weren't all that that's, great. That's when I decided I needed to get serious about yeah. this woman, right? Very good. That's a. Uh, Roy White and Horace Clark. Yeah, Has she ever told you who her favorite player is, or used to be? No, you know, I, uh, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if I know that it would it would be the same with with Mickey Mantle or, or not. Not. I have to. Uh, maybe you could text disagree. her. Maybe ask her. <laughs> yeah, I'll text her right now. <laughs> She's probably watching. <laughs> you might get a text shortly. I'll, I'll see. From I'll Debbie, visiting with Mark Adonacio, the Brewers owner and uh, we're going down memory lane and I've heard that story with Debbie and what a great baseball fan she was and all the games she used to attend and it's perfect symmetry that uh, you two are owners and uh, it's not just a one way deal there's a no. lot of discussion about the game and you guys uh, wrap oh, your they, nights around baseball and there's and a lot Brewers of discussion baseball. in my house <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, Dan, Mike, you know, I told David Stearns I know what he has to deal with with the, you know, he's got a war room with like mm -hmm. 20 people in it. Well, I got a, a home with you know, four people, plus the dog chimes in, but but actually <laughs> there's four of us and there's like five opinions. <laughs> Who's the dog's favorite player, by the way? What, what's the name on the dog? You know, we've had Char 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 Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's our dog. Uh, he Charlie has run around in center field here, actually. Is that right? And I'm here to say I think... Uh, they got into a little uh, my son Mike's trying to teach Debbie about social media so he has an Instagram account now Charlie mm -hmm. I think he has over 2,000 followers <laughs> nice nice it's not a, like it's a, under, a March shot Shotzi situation though here uh, uh, no 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 <laughs> first of all Charlie's a big dog but uh, <laughs> I think it goes under Charles Fluffington or something is that right and he That's gets away. he's really if I do say he's a really good looking dog and he gets away with uh, 
a lot because he's good looking. Well, shame on us for <laughs> limiting this to human beings. This is big league inspiration. Right. Who knew that Charlie the dog was Charlie Fluffington was such Char a fan. Charles Fluffington. <laughs> Charles Fluffington. We wanted to introduce Charles to Hank, Char Charlie to Hank, but um, uh, and we call him Charlie, but in his Instagram we're very formal. <laughs> I think Hank uh, Hank is like in charge of this ballpark, and yeah. Hank doesn't yeah. really want any other dogs. Uh, Coming in his, his territory. Kind of shined your dog a little yeah, bit. Yeah, did we he? had to we had to bring Charlie. That's not a good idea. You ought to, we ought to have a talk with Hank. You don't want to shine the owner's dog. It's yeah, very Hank. similar to the way Rock is with that uh, the analyst seat over there. You know, it's like, <laughs> don't be coming around the booth. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> By the way, we all respect Hank and uh, you know his right. his rule in the territory mm -hmm. here. So yep. Hank the dog. I'm not sure how we got to Hank the dog, but anyway. No. Two and two. The count on Inciarte with a runner at first and. Anderson checks I off. I actually think what, to tie back to Henry Aaron, I mm -hmm. think some of it came because of uh, Hank Aaron and his connectivity with the That's city. That's the name? I, I think. All right. With mm -hmm. Hank the dog, I yeah. think so. You could go for that. Tyler I Barnes, so. uh, I believe, is the one who named him. Tyler, we were talking to him earlier, and uh, his favorite player growing up in Kansas City. John was, Mayberry. Uh, John Mayberry. Yeah. Slick nah. fielding first baseman. Did you ever get to meet uh, the Mick? No, I was I was thinking about this because obviously I, I'm actually proud to say I feel like I'm friends with Hank Aaron, but and Billy, his wife, but um, I don't think so. You know, he had a, uh, a steakhouse on Central Park South, and I was in there one night. I think he was in there, as, but they kind of had it. Mm -hmm. People they were mm -hmm. keeping all of us, you know, back. <laughs> so I've seen him up close, but I, I didn't ever meet him. Swing at a foul by Enciarte. You, you know, were saying uh, before Joe DiMaggio. Wait, I think yeah, I met, I met Joe, Joe DiMaggio. Did uh, you? Yeah. I met him when I was with the Angels. He uh, came around to some of those old-timer games. Remember they had the old-timer right. games back in the old days? And uh, got a ball signed by him. That's one of my prized possessions. Oh, That's, uh, I met a lot oh, of those yeah. kind of guys, but meeting Joe DiMaggio, that was something special. It's like looking the into the, to the, the eyes of the Pope right, right. there. The yeah. Yankee Clipper. Yeah, no kidding. Visiting with Mark Adonacio and our big league inspiration night on Fox Wisconsin one thing uh, Mark I wanted to show you you know we we try not to take for granted but we're here every day you own this ball club this stadium provides moments like this I thought this was such a beautiful shot today of this kid walking into this ballpark for the first time in his oh, life right. and you know none of us will ever forget the first time we walked into a major league stadium right no I remember th that day in 1966 like it was yesterday mm -hmm. sitting in Sitting in the right field bleachers. By the way, looking at look, Al Downing, yeah, kept sure. looking at me, and you know he ended up, I think, pitching for us, didn't he? The Brewers at some point. I think he did. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I can, I have that image in my mind, yeah. like like he's right in front of me. Grass, the, the the grass is greener than any patch of grass anywhere you see. And as I said when we hit the air, it seems like the uniforms are whiter than anywhere. There's just something special about the big leagues and. You get a, a bit of that sensation when you walk into any stadium or any ballpark, but there's something special about a Major League Baseball stadium, and uh, that's what you're in charge of. Well, now, I still get, I, I, you know, this is my 12th season, and I still get excited that I'm able to walk onto the field. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. It's exciting. It, it's, um, it's really fun. Two outs in the inning. Ibar, the batter, runner takes off. Maldonado's throw is low and into center field. And Darno will stay put. Well, before we let you get out of here, we do want to ask yeah. you about the current makeup of the ball club and uh, all the trades that have been made. And it's it's a new look Milwaukee Brewers and the process is ongoing. Where do you stand on things? And, uh, you know, from your seat as owner, how do you feel about the way the trade deadline went? Uh, well, the. I was going to comment on the new look, but the trade deadline, I think, went very well for us. Uh, in a number of ways and David was able to and his team execute on just about everything they tried to do there were a couple of things that they were working on behind the scenes that uh, didn't materialize but uh, pretty much everything they want to do they got done and you know we're um, we're well into this rebuild plan now and 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 what's hard and I'll, I'll say what's what's hard is uh, we've got a really good guy at second base but I never thought he'd be our cleanup hitter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah good point. Um, but uh, you know what we have a really knowledgeable fan base uh, walking around the ballpark tonight people are enthusiastic. 
They like what we're doing. I see you got Zach Davies on. He's obviously part of our future. And, uh, you know, they they know uh, they're up for this. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, and that's really good because it allows us to do it properly and not have to take uh, half measures. Hey, after all these trades, I mean, some pundits have the Brewers minor league system as number one. Yeah, what, I saw that. What do you that. think of that? Uh, that's well, kind of the goal. Isn't I like it? I like that, but the you know the goal is to get some more banners up here, and so we're not we're not hanging a banner that says number one in baseball America. Yeah. <laughs> so, but down the road, uh, like, couple I, two no, three no, but years. That's right? where you start. You think about um, you think about when I first bought the club. We had, uh, in fact, how about this stuff with Prince? Is very yeah, uh, yeah. Sad. very sad. Um, but you know those banners up there were a result of us having pretty much the best farm system or one of the best farm systems in baseball when I bought I think when I bought the team uh, we were ranked number two mm -hmm. so um, that's what we're trying to do and David and his guys are they get after it every uh, he got a text one night he told me and I said well David what it was four in the morning <laughs> and I said so what were you getting up there he said no I was still up <laughs> <laughs> Burning the midnight said, oil. Well, yeah, I mean, so that's 4 a.m. is uh, definitely the midnight oil. So um, he and Matt and everybody uh, worked really hard to, to get through that uh, that week. One two pitch is just inside. Let me get your quick thoughts. You brought it up, but two guys, uh, Prince Fielder and his situation and what you thought. What was your reaction when you saw that press conference? And also Carlos Gomez uh, getting DFA'd by the Astros. This was. Uh, you know, a lot to absorb today. I mean, these two guys were, you know, critical to our success um, in 2011. And Carlos, frankly, 2014, uh, first place for 150 days. And, uh, you know, one of the things I said to the players when I when I very first bought the team, I didn't know what to, to say to this group of young men and why they'd want to listen to me anyway. But you know, I, I talked to them about, about uh, you know, seizing the day, and soaking it all in and enjoying what you have because every day is a blessing. Yeah. And and you can see, I mean, Prince Fielder didn't miss, he didn't want to miss an, ad, an inning for right, us. Right. We'd be down, you know, we'd be up or down by, you know, 10 runs. He would not want to come out of the game. Right. That guy wanted to play every Gamer. pitch. Right. And when we, you know, if we lost, he could have two home runs. If we lost a game, he was in the dugout after the game sitting by himself, you know, steaming. Yep. So, um, you know, it's just hard to believe that uh, he's not going to be playing anymore. He did. He referenced. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the full press conference. He did reference Milwaukee and his time there, where it all started. Thanked uh, Milwaukee and Detroit, and of course Texas, his uh, current team. But you know, his his career here was significant. Seven years and uh, won a home run derby. Really, uh, we talked about it earlier, but that combination of Prince and Ryan Braun. Yeah, Best left-right combination in the game in their time. Maybe in yeah, maybe in 20 years, right? And and frankly, as as uh, extraordinary as it is that Prince isn't playing, is Ryan playing as well as he is? Mm -hmm. and, you yeah. know, is uh, it's got. I see David now has the uh, OPS on the board. I think he's up to like a 940 OPS, right. Ryan. And uh, you know, just stealing bases, making throws from the outfield. It's it's uh, great to see. Now we're getting a glimpse of the future as well and Orlando Arcia just got called up. I know that was exciting for you and all of us to see Arcia in the flesh for the first time and he has not disappointed since he's arrived. No you can see he you know uh, what we heard from everybody was that he was ready and, and you could see uh, he's ready. Um, he looks like he belongs. Fly ball to center. Newen Heiss will ease back. And he's got it to end the inning. Great stuff, Mark. Yeah, we great. went, no, he's nice went to down a lot of roads. Yeah, yeah wow. that was fun. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Good picture job. Picture me when I'm eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a picture of Mark when he was a young man. Big fan of Mickey Mantle.